Okay, welcome to some more advanced example solves. So we're going to start out with the two white cross solves, even though this yellow is really easy on this scramble. Um, so I'm going to do the white cross as follows. So I'm going to insert these two first by doing f r2 and then do something like d2 u prime r prime u r prime f like that. And after I did that, I noticed these two first immediately. Um, in a speed solve, I would probably go, go for these two first, but I noticed I have these two and I can insert these two into the back and create a, uh, a connected pair from these two by doing that, which is quite handy. And then I can insert those straight away. As I was doing that, I kind of saw these two, which I could do next, like that. And then I would do these two and preserve edge orientation like that by doing a uh, sledgehammer. Now I've got soon, and I know it's going to be a U perm like that. Um, uh, I don't want to do this. Yeah, so I know based on this case, because I have a block and because the C-O-L-L, uh, the corners are already permuted, then doing a soon like that creates this, creates this case. Okay, next solve with the white cross, and this is a fairly easy uh, cross. So I've got these two, which I can do an F prime to set up, and I've got this one as well, and this one's already solved. So if I do something like F prime, U prime, actually, if I, before I do that, if I do F prime, U prime, R prime, L, F2, then this edge will just end up here, and this corner will end up down here. So U prime, R prime, L, F2. I have these two as I anticipated. They can go straight away and solve that first F to L pair. Now I've got these two, which I can pair up and insert into the back there. And then I have a couple of choices as to, well, I have two different choices as to what I can do next. I can do these two, or I can do this one and this one. Both of them, both of these last two F to L edges are oriented, so it's going to be pretty easy anyway. I'm going to go with these two first for no particular reason. Um, the it, even if I did this one first, I'd have a similar F2L case for the last pair. Um, so it doesn't really matter. And then I can just go ahead and do my last pair. OLL and PLL like that. So yeah, straightforward last layer. Okay, what have we got in this scramble? We've got a white cross which is okay, a red cross, which is also okay, um, and there's no other oriented edges on any side. So, hmm, red cross isn't great. I'm going to have to do a rotation, I think, or I think I'll have to do a rotation in order to make it faster. So I can do something like D, um, and the F2L pair that I'm going to be watching during this, uh, this solution are these two. So I can do something like D, L, U, L, rotate R prime, D2, R prime. And I was watching these two as I did that. So I can go straight away and insert them. Now the next F2L pair that I would do is this corner and this edge. However, I would do it uh, using keyhole like that. And I would rotate to do these two back there, then rotate again to do these two. Now I've got um, OLL, and I notice that because I've got all my uh, corners permuted in this case, I'm going to have an edge only last uh, edge only PLL, and I also notice that this edge is going to go back here. So this this OLL algorithm performs like a three edge cycle and orients two edges, and I've got this opposite case here. So this sticker is opposite to these two. And this one's going to go back here, or I can I can also tell it by these two stickers are the same as this one. So this one when it goes back here will be opposite these two blue ones. So I'm going to have a H permutation. And my preference is to always do AUF before I do the H permutation because I hate doing AUF after M moves, but that just, that's just a personal preference. And then it's solved. All right, upon inspection, I basically see that Blue is very easy, as is yellow. Um, 
uh, I don't really have too strong of a preference. I might just go with blue here. And I notice that if I do D R L, then I'm going to go, I'm going to go straight into solving this edge and this corner after I do D R L because they will go into that position and that position respectively. And I don't need to do an F because that's going to be my first move of solving this F12 pair. So I can rotate and solve it like that. Then the next pair I would do is these two. There. Now I have a couple of different options here. Actually, one fancy way I can do this, these last two F2L, F2L pairs, uh, insert this edge into the back slot here. Noticing that I have this corner solved in this front slot. If I insert this edge into the back slot here, then do a D prime, insert this formed pair there, then I can do, that's, that's kind of multi-slotting keyhole. That was, yeah, pretty fancy. That was, that was fun. Um, then I've got OLL and then PLL. Um, I'm really good at executing this PLL, but it probably makes sense to do a U and then execute the U perm from that angle. Okay, this is a funny little scramble. Um, I've got this green side where I've got all my cross pieces oriented in the cross layer, but it's not solved. I can solve these two. These two are solved correctly relative to one, to one another, but these aren't. I've also got the white side where I've got these two solved, this one and this misoriented one up here. I'm not going to go with white. I'm going to maybe go with green. Um, I suppose it looks okay. And I can track my first F2L pair. So the first F2L pair that I'm going to do after I solve the green cross is these two into the back left slot. So I can do R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D prime, U prime, and then do these two straight away. Now, immediately after that, I can do these two like this, do a wide U prime and insert that using keyhole. Then I'll do this, these two like that, and then rotate and do that as my last F2L pair. Now I can do um, uh, CLL and then EPLL.